Now in the first one, your rogues auto or your rogues, your rangers automatically explore the map. Once you had rangers, you didn't need to ask them to or ask people to explore anymore. The, the rangers would run around and just explore everything. Which I thought was pretty neat because it took off the burden of having to uh, having to always set up a explorer flag somewhere. Now, in the first one, when things leveled up, they really didn't change the appearance at all. But in here, they do. You see, she's level 5 with basic armor, basic weapon. But she has the improved leather armor. So you can see on her back, it has more armor on it, more armor on the front, yeah, kind of interesting. Same thing with the fighters, if I can get you a fighter that is, has armor, found a set of armor, here we go. This one has the masterwork steel armor, so that's what it looks like with the kite shield and everything. And that is what? It looks like with basic armor. If you'd stop turning around. Yeah, you know, that's what they look like. Wooden sword and basic armor. But as they go along, their thing looks pretty cool. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but you can uh you can wait to see what they look like, or you want to see what they look like in the most epic gear at the end? That's what they look like. However, I've, on my downloadable content, I have a level 4. So, that's not what they look like. That's what they look like with level 3 equipment. They actually get more badassery as you get to the level 4 section. So, yeah. Level 4, he has no helmet. Okay? This one... You can see he looks a little different. He has a helmet and everything. That's how you can tell that they're getting higher levels. Their appearance starts to become more and more epic looking. So basic to more epic. The priests, on the other hand, quite interesting. Before they go, they're bald and they have like shabby armor before they level up. After level 5, they get dreadlocks for some reason. and Or they get uh, corn rolls. And their appearance looks a little better. Well, she found some improved cloth armor and stuff. But yeah, they, they get dreadlocks. When they get to level 10, they get uh, fully brown hair. And when they get to level 15, they get blonde hair. And they no longer... Uh, they really hurt a lot of things. Another thing about this with the expansion at level uh, at level 15 after level 10 nobody really gains any extra abilities after that kind of start to stagnate and a lot of bad things happen excuse me the a lot of dlc was spells for people at level 15 well abilities more for the warrior but yeah for spells at level 15 so, like, the clerics gain the ability to increase magic attack. The archer gains the ability, I call it the Reign of Arrows. It just kind of trickles down and kills enemies. The warrior gains a resistance ability to where it's no longer, it's not affected by most attacks anymore. The rogues gain a bleed ability. They... Do an attack that does uh, damage over time while they're fighting. But, um. Oh, and then the wizards. The wizards are the most important one. They can summon a drink. And then especially classes. We'll get to them later. Don't worry about it. But, um. Yeah, and at level 15, because some of the things you're facing are level 20, level 15, or level 20, they're actually kind of hard. That actually makes for uh, not easier, but more balanced. So your heroes have a chance of surviving things now instead of getting obliterated once they reach a certain level. That being said, 
stuff is taking a while to get kicking. Oh, and once you build the main building and you upgrade to everything, don't waste the money getting this again. Or pretty much any of the abilities. Just summon the heroes. They'll use the other building for all their training purposes and, and skills. So, you don't need to worry about upgrading the building. You can upgrade it for the hit points. But don't get any of the abilities. Don't don't waste your money on it. It is a waste of money and time to reach or to re-research everything that is in that building. You're level two. I don't have the money. Okay, so all right, sewer great. Low rats, as you can tell. Dire rat, regular rat. Sewer entrance gets those guys. The rats on feet. The rats on uh, uh, humanoid rats. Kind of. They hurt. A little bit. They hurt. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, if you have the heroes at a good enough level with good enough equipment, they're nothing. And if you have a tower next to it, the towers will. Uh, want uh, most creatures will attack the first thing that attacks them. So, you have a tower here. They come out, they get shot by an arrow. The first thing they're going for is this building. See? Sometimes they'll go after the people and they'll ignore whatever arrows hit them. Those are the really badass ones that don't have to worry about you attacking them. Which makes me worry that they don't worry about it. See here. Oh, we found another building. Okay, I didn't realize that. Kill it. Uh, kill it! Get the no attack. Now, if you're on the flag and you do this, you can see all the heroes that are interested. Right now it's level one, which is going to die when she gets out there. As you see, oh, no, that's him. Which one's going on a quest? You are. There you are. Hey, you're way out there. They are fast. These rogues are quick. We got two rogues coming out. Okay. And attack. This ain't worth it. And run. <laughs> this ain't worth it. You're right, sister. It's not worth it. Don't die over it. Alright, so... I'm going to build another cleric skill, too. That's 1,050. Hmm. Another 350 added on to have to build it. Well, I guess we should start exploring. Oh, let me set up the explore flag. It's be about 400 apiece. Same with that. All right. And a defend flag. I'll leave that at zero because I add my own stuff to it. All right. Four. Ooh, no. Oh, I'm about to lose this money. Okay. Well, let's get those exploration sections. I can't handle it alone. I know, I'm with you. Don't worry. Hey, look, bears. And more stuff. My knowledge and skill grow. Exploring for your majesty is a pleasure. Level 8. Oh, you can take them. Ooh, look at that. Half life. Why are you running? You have, like, the hardest hit of everybody against creatures. So stop running. You are level 6. You shouldn't be running. You make an offer I can't refuse. I know, don't I? As they flee. Wow. Where are my clerics at? 
Oh, see, now that's why I'm going to build another player school. So that won't help. Alright. Epic speed. So I can get things moving. Okay. Ooh, upgrade. Oh, somebody died. No, who did? Oh, level two rogue? Where? Out here? Wow. I'm surprised by that. Alright. In the first one, when a hero died, they were permanently dead. In this one, when you get the graveyard, you can resurrect them. So, however, the level dictates how expensive it is. And, I'm actually glad it was uh, spawned right there. And, these things spawn on dead now. So, the fact that it appeared right in front of my uh, tower is a blessing. Because they usually appear over here, away from everything. And I have to spend more money to get the fence set up and everything. Alright. Boom. It's dead. Looking to get people money so they can buy stuff. Alright, fine. Forget that. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Nope, oh, I can't afford it. Okay. Kill that. Go ahead. That's easy. 400 apiece. Plus 75 from the bear. Why are you... Oh, there's like four bears coming up now. It's dead. Moving on. Oh, that got a cleric out here. Look at that experience. Look at that. As long as they have backup, they're cool. Alright, now... Kill that. And there goes the rogue stealing from all the, uh... Stealing the excess money out of the graveyard. Out of the graves. And that's what she'll look like at full level. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Epic. Now, rogues, I find it interesting. Rogues don't like a fair fight. So, <laughs> they want it stacked in their favor. So, if you have a building with it's like three or four rogues, with three or four creatures, they'll run almost every time. Which I find interesting. Kill that bear, please. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Now go buy stuff. That's what I want to see. I want to see my hairs buying things. Because if they buy things, they stay alive longer. Man, you're getting a ton of experience from this thing. Yep, there you go. Level 5. Nice. What is this one? Oh, he went to go to sleep. Oh no, he was poisoning his weapon. That's what it was. Give me a hand. Oh shut up. If you bought potions, you wouldn't have to do all this. Oh, my god. Rangers level four. This is a great way to get like level ones to have experience. So I mean if you build new level ones. Leave a creature den nearby so you can put like maybe three, four hundred gold on it. And all the lower level people will run over to go attack. And either they'll die or they gain experience. Which, if you're the monarch, you're hoping for the latter. So, boy, I think I have enough gold for it. Yeah, I do. Alright, cleric skill. I try to diversify where the buildings are, but in this one, not really caring for it at the moment. And guards respond, which I like, because that would be annoying if I had to re resurrect them. 
I could resurrect them if I get that spell. Eh, not really worth the, I think it's 2,000 gold to spend to do it. For something that was just, to, to get a rehiring of things. Yeah. So, let's see here. Oh, and if you're thinking maybe you can spam guard towers all around, not suggestible. Because they, it severely gets a lot more expensive. Like right now, for you to build another tower, it's 1140 As you can see, that would drop me to about 1000 If I was to keep building them, it would get up to upwards about 12500 You know, around there. It gets bad. It gets real bad. Uh, let's see. Explore. Explore. I don't want you finding this place yet. And there's no other building, no other buildings I can kill around. Ooh. See what I mean by they'll try to spawn away from the towers? So, I'll build that there. I noticed with some of the buildings like here, It'll override the the uh, pathway, but it'll still kind of stick, which I kind of like. And everything has like cobblestone and stuff underneath of it. I wish we could we could combine everything with a road though, instead of having like grassy spots just like that. Ooh, wow, Ooh, wow, that's a lot of gold. Well, not really. That was ten to him. Seventeen. Never mind. I take that back. It looked like a lot of gold. Seeing gold pop up a lot. Did you get that? Alright. So, let's fast forward this. So, I want to get them to a good enough level. Level 5 speed up. Ta da! Go! Do -do 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 -do. And look at them scatter! They're always on the move! Yes, they are! I wonder if this end is making money. Nope. Alright. And they're off. I wonder how much that would make. Right now that has 60 gold. Oof. Uh, let's see, there's a guard that's hurt. There's a guard that's hurt. I could start building my third level stuff. The third section of, uh, of buildings, which I'm going to do. My ambition has paid off. And I'm gonna go through there. Now, Hall of Lords. This is the building that's really, really helpful later on. At the end of every quest, you bake a lord. At the end of every quest, including that tutorial, which I didn't do because you know it was not really worth it. But where can I build this thing? Oh, here we go. Got some clear spaces out here. Uh, come on, me. There you go. Now, I was say that building already got under attack. So I don't have any lords, but if I did, they'd fall under here. And just like the graveyard, when you go here and you go to resurrect, which I need to do. Brings up a little screen over here. The Hall of Lords, same thing. It lists every Lord of every uh, map you saved one on for hire. And how much gold it costs. Basic classes, fairly cheap to mid expensive. Uh, specialty classes with the temples? Yeah, that's a lot. Last. Uh, I was playing these before, and the last, did I not build, build the clerics? Oh, I just built that. Okay, that's right. Uh, the last time I was playing the maps, I upgraded all my lords to special classes, and let's just say the cheapest one was 12 grand. Which, with some of these maps, is 
kind of hard to do. All right, so we do this. We have enough heroes to protect against stuff. And you are doing exploration quests, so you're the one that's coming out here. Now! Oh, there's still a lot of stuff around here. Oh, he'll kill some of it. Run. Just run. For 400, you need somebody else that's interested that's higher level. And they're all level ones. Okay. So drag the undead back to town to where they get killed by other heroes. That works. I think there's undead buildings around there, which I need to double check on. So let's do 